When I first heard about the theme for this show, creativity, I thought, oh, that's what I do all the time, everything in the studio. I could show you everything, it's creativity. That's what I do every day for years and years. So I really had to really think about creativity and what, what I would show. Instead of giving you 10 hours of my creativity, what could I do in about 10 minutes? So I came up with a couple ideas and then all of a sudden this one, I was going through an old book that I had done and this one just said, pick me. Because it's one of, it's one of our favorites and it, let me show you it. <laughs> it's a chicken. Okay, so Heidi, what's so creative about a chicken? Well, it's not only that it's recycled, it's on a, a plastic cup, but it's what the chicken does after you made, make it. And here we go. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is such a fun project and it's so creative. It just sparks everyone's creativity. And not only is it recycled because it's using the plastic cup, but it makes noise. So kids and adults love it. So first I'm going to show you how I made it and then I'll show you the secret of how to make it uh, have sound. You're going to need some fabric. And you need two pieces. And if you have like a probably about a 16 inch square that would probably get you or probably even less than that, probably a 10 inch square. Now I made my pattern out of the shrink plastic because I like to use it as a template. So we're going to put that on top of one piece and we're going to go all the way around my template with glue. And I'm using the quick dry tacky glue today because it works perfect when you're working with kids or adults and you want it to dry really fast. So I'm going to put just a bead of glue all the way around my template. And it is about it is about that half inch um, seam allowance that you're going to need that the instructions will show you. The instructions actually give you the pattern for this shape and then you have to add a half inch uh, seam allowance. And you're not going to put any glue down at the end because that's what's going to go over the cup. And just kind of make sure, go around, make sure that there's no gaps. See here where there's a gap, you want to make sure that you fill that in because we're using this um, as a seam. Now you could sew it if you wanted to. But Mama Lean always said, if you can't glue it, don't do it. Okay, I have another piece to go right on top. And I'm going to lay that right on top. like so, and you set it aside to dry. Now, while, you're, while it's drying, you're going to get the cup ready. Now remember, for this size pattern, you need to use the 10 ounce cup. And you're going to use a push pin on the top to put a hole in it, right in the top. And then you're going to take some cotton crochet thread Oh, maybe about 36 inches. Put a little bit of glue on the end of it, and that kind of creates a needle for you. So you're going to push it through the hole. And then when it gets to the, almost to the end here, I like to put a bead on it. Put a little bit more glue so I can use it for a needle. I like to put a bead on it, because that way I know it's not going to pull through when, when the kids are kind of yanking and tugging it, you, you know that bead's going to hold it really tight against that hole. So tie a couple knots. And I even put a little bit of glue around here to kind of hold it. And then you take a half of a two inch ball. This was the ball and I cut it in half. And you're going to put some glue on top here. And I even poke just a little, little hole for the bead right there. And put that in right on top like that. Again, you've got your string inside. And you're going to set that aside until that dries. 
So I have one already here, and I have a one that I glued earlier. And it's amazing how the glue holds. Okay, another thing you're going to do when it dries is you're going to kind of clip the curve here, all around that curve, clip into it a little bit. And you probably even want to try to trim maybe a quarter of an inch off. sure I got my a good trim here and you're going to turn it inside out And you take a little bit of polyfill and just stuff that inside. So that can go right up in the top. And you're going to put this over, just pull this over the cup. And then just start to kind of pull it tight. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my string down inside because I want to glue that fabric in. So you're going to glue, put all kinds of glue right inside, about a half inch in. And you're going to pull Pull and push that fabric right inside. Now, as I do this, I use some clothespins to kind of hold it as it goes. And there I have the body to my for my chicken. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut some pieces out of um, felt for the wings. And that's going to glue right there. And then we have the little hen top to the hen is at the comb and just put it right on the edge the glue on the edge and you're going to glue it right on top right on the seam remember the glue dries clear we have a little beak out of um, put that some glue right there I like to put the glue for the beak right on there and then I just put the the felt pieces right into there and she's, she needs to have her, her mouth open because she's making noise. We got some eyes. And set her aside to dry and then she's ready for the magic noise. So what, how do you do the magic noise? Okay, well you keep out, keep out a small piece of the fabric probably about maybe two by two by three, two by four, and you put it into water and kind of wring it out. And then you wrap that over the string. And then you hold it you hold it upright and as you're holding it you do a quick jerking motion. Pull back up. 
put it around the string. <laughs> it sounded like a funny chicken. <laughs> But that's all there is to it, and it's so much fun for the kids and the adults. So have fun making your chicken noise maker. <laughs>